oral hygiene is a practice of keeping your teeth gums and tongue and all the oral tissues in your mouth disease free and clean and this particular process also involves visiting to your local dentist for once in a year or six months. oral hygiene is a process of uh, preventing any disease to occur in your oral uh, oral cavity like diseases like dk your gum diseases which involves periodontitis gingivitis and bad breath which is called halitosis so this process of preventing it is oral hygiene so it is very important to keep your oral cavity very much clean and uh, and you know uh, researchers have also proven that with your bad gums that is conditions like gingivitis and periodontitis this may lead to your diseases such as involving your heart also that bacteria can transport from uh, your gingivitis or periodontitis and transport to the upper layer of the heart muscle and which may cause myocarditis and different uh, heart related issues also so now since the researchers have proven that your overall health also depends on your oral cavity it becomes much more important that you take care of your oral uh, oral hygiene is very important brushing twice is the most important thing in oral hygiene and the first thing you can do in uh, taking your oral uh, oral care to the next level because i'll simple simple example i'll tell you people start their day with the brushing that is the one time everybody will brush their teeth second time brushing should be in the night just before going to your bed so that second time brushing is the most important uh, brushing of the whole day not even the first first time second time brushing is most important because i'll tell you see the whole day we you know munch on things we have a three square meal on an average and a snack and usually people do not do not have do not even gargle them so brushing in the night just before going to bed that becomes very much important because the whole day whatever we are eating and drinking the beverages and food whole thing gets accumulated in your oral cavity and the crevices of your teeth so once you are brushing twice that is in the night just before going to bed that decreases 80 to 90% of the bacterial activity in your mouth so that becomes the most important time to brush so the the next time the next coming to the first time brushing in your mouth once you have you have started brushing and cultivating the habit of brushing in the night the daytime brushing it becomes just to freshen your mouth so the whole day it will keep you fresh so two times brushing is the most important part of your oral hygiene brushes usually depend on the softness of your uh, selection of the brush usually we prefer our patients to collect only soft or ultra soft brushes and once you are brushing for two times a day it becomes not more than a uh, two months to three months in between two to three months you have to change your brush because the bristles which are standardized brushes i prefer i uh, suggest my patients to take which are approved and standardized in brush so those bristles will not last more than uh, 60 days so 60 to 90 days would be the uh, actual frame for you to change your brush there are various number of problems which will start occurring if you are not not maintaining your oral health so i also told you that there are systemic problems which are arising from your bad oral health first let us see what oral problems we can face by not properly brushing so first coming you to dental decay decay is the most common problem which will affect even the younger generation because we call them as nursing bottle carriers because uh, younger kids they start, they uh, feed they are breastfed and when they are not properly maintained they start developing caries on their anterior teeth anterior teeth is the front teeth so caries is the most problem the decay is the most problem most common problem in the oral cavity then coming up to gum related issues which may cause gingivitis which may cause periodontitis this may ultimately lead to loosening of the gums and ultimately the tooth may fall off so these are all the problems which start from caries then the gum related issues there are gingivitis periodontitis and other related issues bad breath is also which leads to bad breath this gingivitis and periodontitis may lead to bad so researchers have proven that uh, few of this uh, periodontitis Uh, bacteria can cause uh, different uh, systemic problems also basing on fdi and ida approvals they have set standards that a person should regularly visit a dentist 
for uh, at least once in six months to once in a year, depending on the oral condition he is facing. Like people who are affected with few conditions like gingivitis or periodontitis, and they are availing the treatment from a dentist, they need to visit at least once in six months. People who have regular oral hygiene and they are maintained, then they need to visit the dentist for at least once in a year for a regular checkup. 